Hello everyone and welcome to Carrier's Expeditions 2. I am recording this on the PS4, so the conditions are less than ideal. My microphone isn't as good and you might hear some background stuff. I don't have the music on in this game because even at its lowest I could barely hear myself think. <laughs> and it is like non-stop, it never stops. So I did not want to have to suffer through that while recording. But yeah, this is like a adventure roguelike. It's all like randomly generated, but there's like gold and stuff. We're playing what is called the director mode. There is a campaign, but it's really long and you know, there's gonna be some things that are the same every time. So I kind of just wanted to do all these random missions with, I think random modifiers that we can add on over time to make it harder. Used my random number generator to figure out which class we're playing as first. And we got the anthropologist, Bernard Roju, I think it's pronounced. He creates studies of Islander cultures. And I get extra fame for studies, which is great. I also start off with a weapon. We got um, Noka Lunga, extra sanity gain from mushrooms. And we have Anahe Tas Rovion, our translator, which actually does affect the gameplay. We can actually figure out what other people are saying when we don't speak the same language. I'm gonna sneeze. Like any second now. <laughs> oh god. After the tumultuous events of 1889, aka the um, campaign doesn't really matter, it's okay, it's in the past now. I found myself as the newly appointed director of the Exposition Universelle. It was my job to bring fame and glory to this organization, now dedicated to exploring the mysterious disappearing islands. Which one should be my first visit? I'm going all random anyway, why don't we randomize where we go? Boom. We're going to the prehistoric island where there's dinosaurs. And we're going to find a pyramid, one of the common goals we can get. What's more important is the journey, not the destination in this game. Um, and I'll randomize which group we're going to be working with. They can affect what we get on the ship to buy before we go on the island. We're going to be going with the Lux Labs, which has got this robot guy. He says, be careful, we do not want to lose our investment. We're just a tool for them. For their research. I decided to indulge in a few drinks the night before the expedition was to depart. Yeah, there can be random events here. Somewhat hesitantly, a would-be adventurer approached me that evening. He had heard of my exploits and was interested in joining my expedition. He seemed able enough, but did I truly need anyone else in my party? Recruit Sergeant Edwin Parnell. He is a British soldier. A marksman that has 15% increased damage when using guns, and he's afraid of, I think, like, moths and butterflies. I mean, we're afraid of birds, so it's okay. I mean, he's not going to hold us back that much. Flying creatures in general, we don't do good around those. I'm going to recruit him. There we go. I gladly welcome Sergeant Parnell to join my trek. I was sure his skills would come in useful in the days ahead. Way anchor. As I neared the site of the expedition, a small supply ship pulled alongside. Lux Labs would sponsor my expedition. So it looks like we've got um, a torch marked down, as well as some climbing gear, which is good. I'm obviously going to buy those, because they can help me out. And the rest is up to us, really. I don't really see us getting into trouble, but who knows. What is important, though, is keeping our sanity. So I'm going to get two of those. Oh god, let me see, what do these cost? 20 and 12. One first aid kit. And then one chocolate bar, okay. That seems good to me. Is there anything like super cheap we can afford? We could get a shovel. Might as well, we can also trade it. Okay. That's everything we need. We will begin our expedition. Ancient legends told of a great golden temple on the island that loomed ahead. A massive ancient thing and made of pure gold. Here we are on the island. There are dinosaurs here. And there's an elephant right on the shore. Huh. <laughs> okay. We could approach the elephant. <laughs> I mean, it's free. We might as well, right? Okay. <laughs> Just an elephant on the beach. Here to greet us. I watched the creature rip leaves from bushes with its great trunk while contemplating the value of its ivory. <gasps> The thing is, just for fun, I'm going to be randomizing, so I could be a really bad person. 
Which is horrible, because elephants don't deserve this. I love animals, but I'll be randomizing. <laughs> yeah, 1 through 50, I won't do it. 51 to 100, I'll do it. And we got a 99. <laughs> oh god. Are we already attacking an elephant? With 120 HP, okay. Um, so he's got... He does 25 damage. And he can trample us. What are we doing? We just got here. Okay, well, um, let's roll, I suppose. Do I have to select these? No. We're all just rolling. And then we can also punch the elephant. Oh, We could hit it again. It's so sad. Make it vulnerable, too. I should have done that earlier. Gosh darn it. Okay, and now we can pick a die to re-roll. Hopefully we can heal. Nope. Damage it and make it weak. Okay, I think we're gonna destroy this elephant. Oops. Good luck, lady. Ooh. Coughing up blood. My god. Oh my lord. Two of us are out of it. Um. Heal an ally. Uh, let's heal you first. Can I not heal someone who's down? Oh, I can only... Okay. We'll just take care of him then. And two hits this turn. I think we can take it. Okay. <laughs> Ten... And 23, he oh my god. Elephant's destroying us. We have to run, no we don't. We'll be fine. Five. And I can't. Please save me. Ah. Uh, okay. So that's an example of how things can go bad. We instantly just started fighting an elephant on shore, and then we all got destroyed. Okay, let's take two. Vivian Har Harzier, the anthropologist, with uh, Bongo, I love that name. Mushroom Sandy, who's afraid of birds. And Jamshadi Kama, our translator, who gives us village rest sanity per night. And it looks like he's an alcoholic. So, we'll just remember to burn whiskey then. Assuming we don't... Instantly start off by fighting a bunch of elephants. We will be going to the jungle island to find the pyramid. And let's see who we work with this time. We're going to be working with the Taishi Academy. The night before I was to depart, we go to the bar. And this time, a lady came to join me. Her name is Nikola Holomek. She can decrease the prices slightly while bartering, but I don't know what that symbol means below her. However, that's a very good deal. I do love having the decreased prices. So we'll take you to the seas. Mark down med kit and some stuff that either sent from animals. That's wonderful. I'm definitely taking all the whiskey because we 100% have alcoholic on the team. No elephants on the shore, right? None so far. <laughs> okay. We actually have a clear start. And the place we're going is that compass. Let's see. It looks like... Somewhere vaguely off to the west. It could be up or down. We're not quite sure. And over there, it looks like there's some sort of... Yeah, needle. Needle plants emerge on contact. So we're not going to go that way. Going over here is probably the smartest decision at the moment. So we're going to go that way for 11 sanity. Oh, there is a local. Uh, let's approach the islanders. We can actually tell what they're saying because we have a translator. I encountered a new group of islanders. Uh, she says, they look amazing. Their colorful garments look different than the entire people I've met before on these islands. Yeah, I think every tribe has like a different color. That's pretty cool. We can ask about the tribe, their village, ask for food. And I say, do you think they came here same as us? I think they were born here. One, two, three, four. 
I'm pretty sure you can only pick one, so I'm randomizing. We're gonna ask them for food. As a show of goodwill, they offered us a small amount of food from their stores. I warmly thank them for their gift, and they gave us two star fruits. Thank you. The small group of men wished me good travels. Their deep baritone calls ran out in the wilderness. Thank you for the fruit. <laughs> the compass is still telling us just to go vaguely that way. So for example, we could go over here, which would cost us 15 sanity, but it would also be straying from our path. Or we could go this way for 22. Goes through a little bit of difficult terrain right here, the parts that are red there. But it would be heading where we have to go, and we could meet some islanders. So I think for now that's what we're gonna do. We actually have to study the islanders anyway. Yeah, even though it's a little bit more, let's go that way. Hello, oh, islanders approached us. The day began with sunny weather, but soon opened up in a sudden torrent of rain. Just as it began, I happened upon a few islanders hurriedly putting together a small shelter. Hey y'all. Making themselves understood with gestures, they seemed to be asking for help. I couldn't blame them. Almost unclothed, they were already soaked and probably freezing. Oh boy, I don't want to be a douche, but I'm randomizing. Ah, uh, we're gonna take cover in the tent. Sorry guys, you're on your own. We're mean. Yeah, they don't like us as much anymore. They called us a selfish donkey, according to the translator. Much as I would have liked to help, the success of my own trek had to come first. I quickly took shelter under the canvas I had brought, watching as they cursed me in the rain. I mean, like, you guys could join us under here, but I guess we didn't offer? <laughs> well, that sucks. Walked up to them just to make them hate us. We still don't know which way to go. Plus, there's no landmarks down here. Ooh, I see mosquitoes. We have to stay away from those things. They suck. So going here costs 17. Here's 13. And we can't go that way at all. We have to cross the river. Uh, let's go over here then. And see what we can find ahead of us. Nothing but mosquitoes, it would seem. And our compass still doesn't know where to go. But there is something up there. However, it would take a detour. Okay, we're gonna go here because it costs less. I would love to avoid the mosquitoes. And we still... Oh my god, look at the swamps. Um, Here, I'm gonna really quickly eat some stuff. There, we needed some extra sanity. We're gonna have to avoid the swamps entirely. We can actually go through the forest over there. I think that's what we're gonna have to do. Yeah. Oh. I bet you anything that's the temple. It says it's to the southwest. That tracks. And if we go over here, we can get butterflies. And then we can go straight over to here after. Oh. Oh, no. Unless there's a bridge here, we're going to have to go through the mosquitoes. In that case, let's just go over and get the butterflies first, okay? They give us some extra money. Low sanity, yeah. And it would seem that we don't have a safe bridge to go. We're going to eat some of these fruits that the locals gave us. Thank you very much. And make the journey through the mosquitoes, I guess. It's our only choice. Ah, that sucks. It'll cost us 38 sanity, too. Nobody gets sick. Okay, we got malaria. But also experience. And we found springs. That's a resting place. That's good. It's still not what we're looking for, though. It's saying we have to go to the southeast. I bet you that's our temple. However, I'm very grateful to have springs over here. <laughs> Let's rest. Maybe we can, like, shake off the malaria. I don't know. Our trek stopped at a natural hot water springs. The water tasted salty, very likely from geothermal groundwater. Let's rest, y'all. We had 10, 10 sanity. Oh my god, I didn't realize it got that low. We prepared a camp for an extended rest. It was a rather cold night as I sat by the campfire. And there could be events. I caught Jamshedi Kama rummaging through my pack. Startled, he turned around, and in his hands I saw a bottle of fine spirits he had tried to pilfer. I can explain. It's not what it looks like. Brother, I know you're down bad for the alcohol. I signed up for it when I took you in. 
According to Kama, he did not want to steal, but merely offer a celebratory drink for the expedition. Uh, was this really the truth? Well, it's up to the randomizer. Stop this nonsense! He decreased loyalty. What's wrong with you? I noticed Kama's hands were trembling when I snatched the drink out of his grasp. No matter, I would not tolerate thievery in my camp. <laughs> I brought the alcohol for him, and I won't let him have it. Okay, we got our sanity back to a healthy 50. But I'm wondering if we should shake off the malaria first. Okay, okay, she doesn't have it anymore. Excellent. The healing water soothed both body and soul, and mist lay heavily on the ground as we woke. Oh, shush, you don't have any wounds to add to the collection. You just lost your malaria. Let's not dilly-dally. The mosquitoes are clear. It's a straight shot to the temple. Let us make haste, like she said. And there is... Oh god, an exposition recruiter. Those guys are bad. They're like slave drivers. Here, I'm gonna drink the whiskey. Which increased his loyalty as well. <laughs> and we're gonna head straight over there to what I hope is our temple. It's gonna be quite the journey because the jungle takes everything out of us. So I sure hope it's the right call. And because we haven't had alcohol directly after consuming it, we lost more loyalty because he's an alcoholic. Okay, we found the temple. But first we got someone to promote. We'll be promoting Nicola. Honestly, you deserve it. You went through a lot with that malaria. Oh, she's claustrophobic. She fears being in caverns and loses um, max sanity. Okay, we're going to promote you. Traitor level 2, she's going to have 55 health. Get some abilities. Excellent. Anywho, we're at the pyramid. And honestly, we're making good time. I could probably do one more expedition. The great pyramid towered above me, glinting in the sunlight. It was beginning to fall into ruin, but remained a majestic sight. Enter the pyramid. All was bare inside the temple, but scorch marks showed the signs of a long ago struggle. Intriguing. Victory! The pyramid beckons. We're heroes! <laughs> After we made those guys sit out in the rain. And now we get a perk. I could reveal nearby islander villages. Reduce uh, sanity movement in deserts. And reduces stand-in cost for staying in villages. We randomized. Reduced movement in deserts. That sounds amazing. So if we have the option, we're going to be going through the deserts then. Also, for some reason, this whole office is laggy. I don't know. Upgrade our equipment? That might be nice. We got my spear right here. Why not? My spear is at level 3 now, and that means it does better stuff. Heck yeah. It looks like I could upgrade it again. Yeah. Okay, well, that's, that's all we could do. <laughs> awesome. Unfortunately, we're like out of money now, which is why we gotta go on another expedition. So now we got to do surveys, which means we go around the island to certain points of interest and we take measurements of the island. We're actually gonna be going to the dry lands, which is perfect because we're better off going through the deserts. And we work with the Taishi Academy. As was tradition, I made my way to the bar the night before the expedition was to set sail. This evening, a Zue veteran of the French Foreign Legion approached me. He had heard that we planned to leave Paris tomorrow. He presented himself as a mercenary and offered to join us for one expedition. I'm a great fighter. He would need to be paid up front and asked for a lot, but assured me he was worth it. He doesn't use up a character slot. He's a gun expert and he comes with a gun. This is something I'm going to have to randomize because it's a pretty big decision. And it looks like my character deems him worthy. You never know what you're going to run into out here. So we're going to spend 25 of our budget to let him join us so he can protect us. I shook hands with the mercenary and sealed the deal. He assured me he would be the most valuable fighter I ever had. To adventure. No elephants anymore? Okay. Although we do got islanders, but you know, they're probably friendly. Oh, we've got a lot to look at here. And that's our dry lands. 
I am quite curious. Uh, my character does like to study islanders, so I should probably go over and talk to them to learn more about their culture and stuff. So we'll start off with that. Oh, they approach us. I guess it just says that every time we approach them. Well, it was a lot of choices. Doesn't seem that hard. As soon as they laid eyes on my group, the islanders began a strange chant. Their smiles made it clear that they expected one of us to join in. Okay, so we got five options. We could straight up refuse, or one of the four of us could sing. And apparently I straight up refuse. For someone who wants to learn, I really don't, like, let these people do anything. I'd rather just watch from afar, apparently. They really wanted us to join, huh? My decision had saved us all from an embarrassing show. Still, the Islanders looked disappointed. I'm sorry we didn't even try. We're all socially awkward. Now please give us food, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Aw, they give us three blueberries. Thank you. The group of warriors marched away, standing tall and proud as they went. Until next time. Man, we fumbled the bag. They probably think we're lame now. 29 versus 15. We take, we could take a shortcut, yeah, through the, the dry lands over there. Let's do it. Uh, approach Huntmaster. I encountered a hunter's cabin. It is a pleasure to meet you in the trackless wilderness. It seemed that its owner preferred a solitary existence out among the wildlife. We could hunt a beast with him, or we could trade. I told the hunt master of a fierce creature that I wanted killed. She agreed to deal with it for a price. Oh, I could hire you to kill a monster I don't want on the map. That's fine, I'm okay. That's cool though. We could trade. She gives um pelts, some animal scent stuff, and water, which is, you know, very good. Eat to regain sanity, that's also pretty good. This thing gives us a little bit of leeway. I could just take a bunch of water for no cost at all. And if I trade again, I might be able to get some meat. Oh, she can only use it once per person, I see. Okay, well we got extra water. That's a good thing. And now we can go straight to our survey point. Excellent. Take measurements. There, we got some sanity from that too. Awesome. We set up our survey tools. Take cr crucial measurements. Only one more site remained until our notes are complete. We could go down the beach, which cost only 12. This costs 30, yeah. Okay, this seems like a safer route for exploration. So we're gonna head this way. Oh god, there's an elephant. <laughs> oh, he's an alcoholic and he's angry? Alright, are you better? <laughs> uh, round two. Are we a scumbag or not? Let's see. This time, thankfully, we are leaving the elephant alone. And it looks like we got unlucky here. The mountain actually blocks us off. Um... Okay. Then it looks like we're gonna have to go through that desert, huh? I genuinely don't know where the second survey site is. Oh, show on map. Oh, thank you. So it's like directly below us. Oh, okay, that's quite a journey. Okay. So in that case, we could... Honestly, it'll take one water, but it'll get us pretty far. And we won't be... Yeah, look, we could... That's way worse. 38, 34, 35. Yeah, let's... Let's go here. Perfect. It's just gonna cost us one water, and we could go much further than some of the other spots. Because we got good terrain out here. We travel by beachfront. Yeah, we lost one of our waters. That's okay, though. I thought I saw something on the horizon, but it's gone. Um, 
I have no clue what he was talking about. However, we could level up one of us. And that will be our resident alcoholic, which will actually help with his loyalty. He got a slap, and he can demoralize people. Plus, we get extra village rest sanity per night. Respect to you. I would love to go see what's going on over there. But, um, I don't really want to waste our time. We gotta get to this place. Oh. That's what we saw in the horizon. There's a tower with treasure in it. Hmm. Well, first of all, let's go over here. Also, I should probably eat something. There we go. See what we got going on. Oh, a village! Uh, alcoholic. Well, let's go in the village. Large stone structures overshadowed everything in this village. These people must be masterful stonemasons to create works of such awesome beauty. Oh, these are the guys that we refused to sing for. Whoops. The villagers kept a careful eye on my movements in the village. We could rest here, which will make us lose some of their standing. We could trade with them, or we could simply leave. Um, let's see. We're gonna rest in the village, and even though it makes them mad at us, we're just gonna leave immediately after we're done. We're not gonna overstay our welcome. We unpacked our belongings and prepared to spend the night with the islanders at their campfire. A warrior approached that night with a good-natured smile. She wanted to test our mettle and challenged the best of us to wrestle against her. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, apparently I'm going to fight her. See what I got. Easy clap. Get wrecked. I and my challenger, Coast Coddle, moved away from the fire to a small clearing. A small group of spectators formed to watch. The warrior was strong, but after a tense struggle, I got the better of her, holding her arm in an unbreakable lock until she submitted. The warrior congratulated us. Ooh, we got five experience and two standing? Clearly surprised that she had lost. I saw new respect in the eyes of the villagers that night. Hell yeah, I'm a badass. I make friendships through my fists. We're not holding hands and sitting at the campfire. We're fighting each other. <laughs> and somehow becoming friends out of it. Uh, an undercurrent of distrust. Just a little bit. That's okay. See what they got. Um, so they got, for cheap, they got some bolas. We can use those in combat. And they've also got a hallucinogenic toad, which gives us 40 sanity. I want that. They're usually like, oh my god, wait, I want both of them. Gimme. Um, I'll give you these pills. Heck yeah. 40 sanity for free? That's actually 80 total. Thank you. Excellent doing business with you. We got ready and sallied forth, as new adventures awaited us. The villagers stared as I departed. I'm gonna go this way, I think, because the mountains are gonna mess us up. So for now, this away. We're gonna ignore that trader, because we already just traded. I don't want to lose all my precious goods. Oh, I wish we could go there, but it's fine. It's sinking shrine! I'm not going to waste it. It's, it's a waste of my time. I don't even know if there's any treasure over there. Yeah, l let's just go this way. Don't be tempted, Alex. Dry rock lands, okay. Ooh, extra money! Gonna have to lose some of our water, but it's worth it. Once, once we go here, we're all good. Excellent. And now we just gotta survey this and our expedition's over. Overall, not too bad. We just kind of messed around with the locals a little bit. And they didn't love us or hate us. <laughs> We're just those weird foreigners that ran in, refused us on, beat up one of them, became friends with them, then left. Awesome. There was a lot more to this game and the director mode, but we're just scratching the surface of it right now. 
I think you have to do three expeditions before things start switching up and you have to do modifiers. Plus, we haven't really touched much on a lot of things. There's so many things you can explore in this game. There's like a bunch of different species and races and places you can go. Yeah, we've barely touched it. Number one, reduce the standing cost for staying in villages. Yes, then they would hate us less. That's good, because I intend to stay in villages a lot, if I have the opportunity. I am hoping to do this again. It'd be kind of fun to do a mini-series on director mode and see how far we can get. As you can see down there, we've got two out of the three expeditions, I think, for the first year. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye for now. I'll see you all next time.